Here we have an old Fargo. I'm pretty sure it's um, a 69. It's been sitting back here for quite a while. I lost the keys to it. Misplaced them. She's smoking a bit. So what I had to do is I ran a wire off the coil and I ran to the positive side of the battery. It's shaking a bit, but it hasn't ran in a couple of years. It's a 318. Bit of a tick. Car probably needs to be cleaned out. Oh, stalled around. Needs a bit of work still. It's been back here for a while. There's some rust on the front. Can't really see too much because of all this. But you can have a look. It's in restorable condition. The frame doesn't seem bad. I always sprayed it quite a few times before it got put back here. Kind of sunk into the dirt. You see the old body lines. It has three gas tanks. One on that, one there, one here, and one on the other side. And what's strange about this old truck, I've never seen one before. There's a... Uh, it's got... 83,000 original miles. And the shifter... is in the dash. I've seen lots with them on the column. Mice have been in here making a mess. I'm going to try and pull this truck out with the tractor and get it out of here. But I'm pretty sure the frame and everything is still in good shape. I don't think the tires aren't flat. They just sunk into the mud. Well, I had it running. That was my goal for the day. I don't see too many of them around anymore. The camp has been on its back most of its life. I've owned the truck for... Ooh... 20 years. And I'm the second owner. I'll try and get it going again later on. At least I had it running. And I'm going to search around and see if I can find the keys. Need some uh, body work put in, but top of the fenders is still pretty good. And it's got the splitter box there. That's so that you can run twin batteries. So that when you're camping, you run the power off this one, and it runs all the lights inside the camper, and all your electricity, and then when you have to leave in the morning, you start it up off the other one. painted once by me because the kids took a shovel to the side of it and chipped all the paint off. But that camper is really, really heavy. The camper was made in 1964. But I'm going to try and get it out of here before it sits back here too much longer and get it up into the driveway. So that's my 1968 Dodge Fargo. It's not pretty, but it's a good, tough, strong truck. All right. Well, got to get back to what I was doing.